called Coke Can Snyder. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Fat Man here, and uh, we're gonna try something a little new today. We're playing some games. I'm here with my man in the chair. Uh, it's called me Matt. So we're not going with butt hash. <laughs> yeah, it's called me Matt. <laughs> Friend Matt, who uh, we're gonna press the start. Oh no, it'll still do the song the whole time. Oh god, new game, new game. <laughs> uh. Didn't drop like a fish. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob. Matt, Matt, here is uh, my Matt in the chair. Uh, my Matt in the chair. <laughs> 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 My man in the chair, he makes all the thumbnails for our videos, he does some editing. He's the voiceover you hear in the shorts. Oh, uh, wait, when we get in the game, uh, pause and uh, lower the volume a little bit. It is kind of fucking loud. <laughs> can we skip this? We yeah. can skip this. I'm gonna skip it. Yeah, Gary. It sure looks like we're in a... <laughs> yeah! So if I want to come back... You can't change this... Yeah, it's that. <laughs> if I want to come... <laughs> <laughs> Sound mode. Music. I can't go uh, SFX. Oh, that's on max. They're all on max. We're gonna put SFX in the middle and there we go. Yeah. Beautiful. Save. Save. Yeah. Save. Yeah, save to your guess. <laughs> Save to the memory card your settings. Alright, so you'll never guess, but today we're gonna play some Battle for Bikini Bottom. The OG game, by the way, because. Oh, <laughs> skipping all that shit. Um, the original, because the remake honestly kind of sucked. Oh yeah, I made a remake. They did, and it was not like it was reanimated. It honestly, I like the look of this one better, to be honest. Uh, it was the most bare bones snack, but there's no time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the remake was bare bones as shit, dude. Like, they, they literally didn't add anything. Uh, and I actually can't wait to see if they made a certain thing harder. Because I remember the cost for Mr. Krabs uh, buying the spatulas from him was made, like, so much more egregious in the remake. I could be misremembering, but I don't remember it being that hard on the PS2 version. Um, but yeah, like, it, it even looked worse. Like, it looked too... It's going to sound so weird because it's a Spongebob game, but it looked too cartoony. Yeah, the, from the shots I saw, it's like this too. Yeah, like cartoony. Like, like it, this has like a like this has that nice like early. This, this has a good aesthetic, and they, it, that gets lost in the remake. Plus, like they didn't even replace like you could you could have gotten Clancy Brown in to come in and get Mr. Krabs' voice. Oh, they didn't even get the voice actors. No, it's the same crappy voice that's in this. Oh, I. They oh, just took geez. all the audio from this game. I just remembered. I'm like, wait, they have, I. I, yeah, the crab's voice in this is so bad, it just kind of flooded back. Crabs and Mermaid Man are disgusting in this game. <laughs> Damn. Oh yeah, this is a health tutorial, that's why it bonks you on the head, but maybe <laughs> I skipped it too fast because it didn't do anything. Also, the load times were like... So, Spongebob has a framed picture of Sandy. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You trying to clap them squirrel cheeks? Trying to <laughs> fill her cheeks for uh, winter. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine they're children. Ugh. Horrifying. Uh, yeah, dude, and the load times were so egregious for a PS4 game. I'm like, it, this should not be taking this freaking long. Yeah. I'll try to watch my mouth since we are playing a SpongeBob game. I make case... a censor, it doesn't matter. Okay, yeah, good. They for kids. Then fuck! <laughs> I explicitly tell YouTube that these aren't for kids. And yet they still age restrict our shit. What sense does this make? Should I tank it does? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have uh, the uh, time. <laughs> we get age restricted on everything. Yeah, it's, you gotta play by the rules. Yeah, for those for those who don't know, uh, I am a whore for a collectathon platformers. So this game not only is right up my alley, but it is also like way better than it has any right to be. Like, holy shit, this game is good. Yeah, this game is from that era of just, like, licensed games that were Where they better. were actually good. I am struggling so bad right now for, for no reason. No, I don't want to read the sign. Go there. <clears throat> Did you ever play the, uh, the Peter, Jack Peter Jackson's King Kong game? I played it when I was younger and didn't know, for fuck's sake, and didn't know how to video game, so I never... <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I... Um, 
where the hell did I play it? My cousin had an Xbox. We played it there. Oh, nice. Yeah, that, uh... But, like, I looked up to that guy when we were younger, so if he didn't like something, I didn't. And it's ironic, because I don't care about him now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's how life goes. You live it, and you learn, and you... No, I, he's, he's still cool. We still talk, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, he was like, oh, this sucks. And I was having fun, but I'm like, yeah, this sucks. <laughs> yeah. So I never got to finish it. Uh, it's definitely worth uh, Maybe we'll play it one day. I love playing it. It's, like, it's a really good first-person survival shooter. And right. also you get to play as King Kong and fuck shit up. <laughs> so this is our bread and butter, kids. Uh, so every good, every good collect-a-thon platformer has a couple things you run around getting. All the shiny shit. It just crashed, I think. Oh, there we go. Thank God. It's like, no crash. It just takes a minute. I forgot. Um, but the spatulas are your main collectibles. Then Patrick's socks are your secondary collectibles, which you can exchange for spatulas. And then the little flower things are your third and final collectible. Every good one does that. There's a main one that you usually get for beating a level or challenges. There's a side one that gets you more of the main one. Then there's the ones that are everywhere. This is how you make a good platformer. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> I'll stop at a couple of these just because there's some that have very funny delivery, like Mrs. Puff. I keep it RFS thinking it has to be. I also like that they took the Spyro 3 school things where you can randomly assault all the NPCs. Which is really the way to go here. Oh, yeah. Bubble buddy. It's not a new move. I knew that. <laughs> but I'm not going to kill those things yet so I can go up top and get the giant blue thingy. Is that the real voice of Bubble Buddy? Yes. Everybody except Mr. Krabs and Mermaid Man, who... Just sound like they dragged a random homeless man off the street and were like, hey, can you just do this real quick? Who voiced Mermaid Man? I don't know who. Vo oh, in, uh, in the show, it was Ed Asner. Oh, shit. Who was fucking awesome. I love Ed Asner. What's up? Oh, yeah. Why? Well, I, I wonder why they couldn't get him or fucking Krabs. Oh, that one. Asking too much, eh? Maybe they didn't have him in some, like, contract loophole like everyone else, and they, they were asking too much. Maybe. maybe. It's possible. Because Clancy, Clancy Brown is, like, a... He's, Clancy Brown's a big deal. So is Ed Asner. Oh, yeah. Push, 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 push. <laughs> the lines from this game are iconic as shit, too. Mrs. Puff, Mrs. Puff has, like, one of the best deliveries in the uh, downtown Bikini Bottom level. Which we'll stop at. I'm also going to do a fun challenge where... Per level, I'm going to tell you the, the sock and the uh, spatula I got stuck on as a kid. <laughs> I fucked up. I should have done this first since we were going up there already. Damn it! Not knowing the speedrunning strats. Speedrun strats! Pretty sure I could still get it in time. Hi. Fuck. <laughs> oh. It seems like fate is against us. <laughs> Nah, we got this, we got this. <laughs> Fucking noise. Dink. 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 This dink. game, for what it's worth, this game does have pretty good uh, sound effects. Oh, yeah. You got it. Shabam. I'm a god at this game. <laughs> no, this was one, too. I grew up playing a shit ton. I've played through this. I've played through this game at least ten times. I got oh, the yeah. minimum. I, it's so good, like... Like you were saying earlier, licensed games around this time were way more than just cash grabs. They were actually good. Yeah, it was like, there was like, there was that, that perfect time when, like, video games weren't, like, stupidly expensive to make so they can make a uh, churn out shit like this without it being just all wasted on the the, the license. It's, it's a good game. Oh, you ready? Hear this. This shit's awful. Who? Those flapping. Who the flapping fuck are you? <laughs> But because you're gullible, but I'm gonna help you out. I do like that line though. You, uh, Look at the little light boy. See three. Th okay, here's my thing. It starts at you need three thousand shiny objects, which oh, is yeah. little flower things we've been collecting. Shiny objects. I swear, in the original version of this game, which is what we're playing, it goes up by five hundred per. In the remake, it was like a thousand per. Like I remember. 
that was my last trophy to platinum the game, and I'm like, I know this game too well to not platinum it, so I'm gonna get the platinum uh, on PS4. And I remember having to grind a certain section of the beach of Goolagoon for like literally like an hour and a half. I'm like, I don't ever remember struggling with it here. So I guess time will tell. <laughs> we also get to visit everyone's houses. We're gonna do that before we get no level proper. I'm also there's like something <laughs> specifically OCD about my shit. Like I will not jump into a level without grabbing everything I can in the hub world first. Oh yeah. So we're always gonna do that. The, the completionist. <laughs> Have to. Uh, we don't talk about him anymore. Oh, yeah! <laughs> hey, hey, hey. He does. He still acts like nothing happened, but okay. I, I, I forgot about that. Well, it's... Uh, I don't know why killing Patrick's couch makes a sock pop up, but... Property damage is cool! <laughs> That's alright. From what I hear, Patrick hates sand. It's rough, it's coarse. Gets everywhere. Gets <laughs> I want to see the version of Spongebob where Patrick is voiced by Hayden Christensen. <laughs> I'm haunted by the kiss you should have never have given me. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Boy, I hate fun. Oh, God. See, this game loves property damage. Yeah. <laughs> You just go around, ruin all Squidward's shit, you get a sock. I like how uh, Squidward has a picture of himself looking like a goddamn crackhead. This Okay, ready? Here's the, the hardest uh, spatula in the hub world for me when I was a kid, because I just... Why would you know to do this? I think I gotta talk to him to trigger it. Hmm. Oh, no, I don't. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. He just... <laughs> <laughs> I believe the prompt, there is a slight prompt, because he says, jump around like an idiot, that'll entertain me, but like, I did it like twice, and I'm like, okay, bye, and then, oh, yeah. you know, who knew, <laughs> jump a couple more times, he's like, alright, take this and go away, which is very in line with the character. The really funny thing about this game is, I, it's weird playing it on the PS2, because I played it on the GameCube. Oh, really? I yeah. played it on PS2 originally, which is what we're playing on today, oh, by yeah. the way. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's everything in the hub world that I can get for now for this section. So we're going to Jellyfish Fields. Didn't they rip this hub world from the previous SpongeBob game that was horrible and everyone hates, so they forgot about the it? The Curse of the Flying Dutchman? Yeah. I, I thought that was relatively well-liked. Oh, Squidward's about to get fist out. Hey, cool with the anti-Semitism. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> we don't have a skeleton around these parts. That's life. Rub all over yourself. <laughs> Uh, that's another thing, too. For a licensed game, this is funny. Like, yeah. it's a funny game. Yeah, um, they really captured the spirit of the show. They did. It, it's, it reminds me a lot of hit, Simpsons Hit and Run was kind of in the same vein. Like, it's very yeah, it's true to it. It's really funny. <laughs> uh, I love the fart noise when he killed him. Uh, and like any, like any 3D platformer collect-a-thon, uh, this does have... A fair amount of backtracking, but I don't find it as egregious and tedious as some other titles around this time. Like, especially with the, these teleport boxes, makes stuff a lot easier. Oh yeah, I really make the world feel nice. Like in this world, you have to come back after you learn the cruise bubble thing, which I don't think you, if memory serves, I don't think you learn till the last world. Oh yeah, it's way late in the game. <laughs> They changed something about the combos changed in the original too. I think that's ties back to the money thing I was talking about. Because the bigger your combo, the more money you get. But they changed that. They capped it. I think in the remake. Um, I don't know. Yeah, the remake kind of sucked, man. <laughs> I don't like the remake. I'm, I'm not a fan of all right. The, the quote unquote giving something prettier graphics and just going yeah here here pay forty dollars now. It's like, yeah, but you made it look worse. You missed the point. The aesthetic of the game. That's what it's all about. 
You can't just slap HD textures and fucking f if full high dynamic range on a goddamn game from the mid 2000s <laughs> and expect it to look good. I love, by the way, I love his idle animations. Oh yeah, it's like this has soul. It's charming. It's not some corporate product, man. It was made <laughs> by people that liked what they were doing or something. I mean, honestly, yeah. The I don't know why those robots—they'll always just get me. It, <laughs> it never fails. And it's... I just suck, I think. <laughs> see, like this. This is a big combo fucking... See, I think it caps... It caps it at monster combo, I want to say, in the remake. I'm sorry, I played the remake. I'm talking a lot about it. I played I mean, it... Good comparison. I played it once. I just didn't like it. Like, the original is better. And they just missed... They, they didn't understand the assignment. Like, we didn't just want a prettier version of the same game when the game works fine. They fixed... Not that this game, honestly, it controls pretty well, so there's not a bunch of issues that really needed attention, but they had a chance to do something about the more minor stuff and really polish it, and they didn't do that. Yeah, I guess what I was about to say. They just needed to polish it, but they fucking couldn't even do that. They could not be bothered. These clams are basically stand-in Spyro money bags. Wah! <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's a good thing they told us what the checkpoint does. <laughs> hey, you know what? Some little kid's first video game might have been this. So maybe they don't, you know? They That's don't know. True. Checkpoint, we forget that checkpoints weren't always in games. Or, or, they, or they don't outright tell you what they are. Yeah. <laughs> Something just like flashes and you're like, what the hell was that? I figured it out later, idiot. We'll have to come back as Patrick for this. Only he could uh, grab what I originally thought were just giant tofu blocks. Mm, because tofu. I was a dumbass little kid that didn't read. <laughs> Man, who has time to read? <laughs> Funny, because I actually love to read. <laughs> Hammer! <laughs> I can't wait till we get to that. That's another great line delivery that this game does. I remember when I was a kid, I thought I hated reading, but it turns out I love reading. It's just I hated the fucking trash they made us read in reading class. <laughs> Want to see some speedrun strats? There we go. I could come back here as Patrick, or I could just take the hit. Yeah. Get the sock and die. <laughs> There's since you have no lives. <laughs> See, I love that idle animation. <laughs> Since there's no lives, there's really no consequence for dying, and it doesn't really erase your progress. Like, it'll respawn enemies if you die, but... It's a minor setback. I mean, it's... Honestly, it's beneficial because you get more shiny objects. Like, if it took away shiny objects when you die, then there'd be uh You know, you'd be like, okay, now I don't want to die, but... It doesn't, so... <laughs> uh, yeah, shit, that's just like uh, Gex 2, where uh, when you die, the everything respawns, so... You get the remote to get all the things just by killing yourself twice. Yeah, like, it's more beneficial. We need shiny... We're gonna need a bunch of shiny objects, so... Speedrun shreds. <laughs> gonna need millions of these. Quite a few thousand of them. I love how they run. I love their animation, the running animation. <laughs> push, push. This game will also. There's not a lot of voice clips, <laughs> but but the ones are the ones they have are good. So. Due to voice, is SpongeBob does really good voice work. It's Tom Kenny, I love Tom Kenny. He's I remember, fantastic. I remember it blew my mind when I learned all the different guys he voices. No, oh, dude, yeah. T Spyro, since we were talking about Spyro earlier. In, in games 2 and uh, 3. Oh, who's he was? Spyro. Oh, shit. Yeah, in uh, Spyro 2 and 3. And I, th I think he... Yeah, in Enter the Dragonfly as well, but we don't like to talk about Enter the Dragonfly here. Why is that the game that we don't talk about? Because it's fucking garbage. It's a broken mess. It's actually really interesting if you delve through the history of that game. Like, there was so much pressure on the dev team and stuff, and you could literally go in and glitch your way to the final boss within the first uh, ten minutes. Oh, God. I remember wanting that one on GameCube. I guess I'm happy I didn't. See, well, when you're a kid, it's just about familiarity. Because I, I, liked, I liked Enter the Dragonfly when I was a kid. It was just more Spyro. And I didn't glitch it, so, you know, that was... Me and my brother still enjoyed it. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Then, you know, playing in, a, in adulthood, you're like, wow, this is a broken, laggy, shitty mess, but... Yeah, it's always funny going back to some stuff like that. Sometimes I'm like, how the hell did I... How the hell did I deal with this? Is that you or the cat? Oh, no, it's the cat knocking over. Are you a clumsy bottle. drunk, or is the kitty just knocking shit over? She's just knocking shit over. <laughs> Nothing to make your Let's Play classy like fucking bottles getting knocked over. <laughs> and uh, as long as we let them know it's a kitty. Hehehehe <laughs>